confident, but... Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's still spinning up in fourth. Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped. Welcome to Verano in Italy. I'm here today with Ferrari on a very special event. Now, hopefully you've watched part one of my video where I talked about the Ferrari approved program and got to drive the GTC4 Lusso in the hills above Parma. In part two, we're gonna experience the SF90 Stradale, Ferrari's ultimate bonkers hypercar, 1,000 horsepower from a four liter twin turbo V8. The only challenge I've got is it's tipping it down with rain. It's gonna be a little bit sketchy, but have no fear. I am gonna be given tuition from a Corsa Pilotti instructor. Strap yourself in guys, this one's gonna be a good one. There we go, we're gonna go like that. E-drive, we're in E-drive, people. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? It's just under electric power. <laughs> wow. That's very cool, very, very cool indeed. So, first up, we're just gonna have a sighting lap of this Virano circuit. This car in these conditions is gonna be very, very intimidating. Four litre V8 with a hybrid drivetrain and 1,000 horsepower. 1,000 horsepower. In terms of what it looks like and feels like, the steering wheel is very, very similar actually to the Roma that I had the other week. The view out the front is pretty spectacular. These seats are so supportive. But it is quite bizarre to hear we haven't got any noise at the moment at all. So let me just take it out of hybrid drivetrain and I think put it into is it that one. There we go, the engine's just fired up. So yeah, this, uh, this circuit here at Verano is a a really interesting, tight, technical circuit. There's a lot of lower traction surfaces. I've already been out for a sighting lap with my Corsa Pilotti instructor that's going to show me the way, show me what I've got to do. And this is just an opportunity for me to get familiar with the car, get some cool tracking shots, because it's just, awesome performance wise really this car you need a dry circuit to tap into its full capability it's got so much power a thousand horsepower although it's a four-wheel drive platform it you know the the conditions today are so wet i'm on cup twos now clearly they need warming up ambient air temperature isn't too bad i don't think let me see if we've got a display anywhere on the car 14 degrees ambient air temperature um, which, which isn't too bad, I'm gonna put it into manual change. Um, but there's a lot of standing water, and the one thing that Cup 2s aren't really that happy about is standing water, especially coming out of this little chicane. Coming down this part here, there's actually a river almost running across the circuit, and we've been given a 100 kilometer an hour uh, maximum speed through here. And then you come round here, and then when you come into this part, and we break left in a moment, um, this part of the circuits had some new tarmac. And that difference in tarmac, whenever I've done any racing before, if you've ever done any track days, on a wet day like this, you're braking and your line's in a completely different place. You try and stay off the traditional dry racing line because the rubber that the race cars put down when that gets wet, it becomes very low traction. So you break off of the racing line and you take a slightly different line through the corner. You might not go right onto the apex. You might just hang out a car's width just a little bit to give you just a little bit more grip. 
So when we go out and we start driving at pace, one of the things I'm sure I'm going to be taught is what the wet line is around here, because I think it will probably be very different to the dry line. Now onto the main straight. I'm only doing 50 kilometers an hour. I've got a tracking car in front of me. But down here, full gas, that's gonna be very cool. SF90, I have experienced an SF90 at Goodwood before. I'll put a link up here somewhere to a passenger lap, a hot lap I did around the Goodwood motor circuit. It's the fastest I've been around Goodwood, I think. Uh, absolutely sensational performance, this car. Um, on a dry motor circuit. And I know I'm not gonna be able to tap into that, especially although it's dry now, I think the rain's gonna come in for our laps. I think the light, likelihood of it being wet is quite high. But let's just talk about the Corsa Pilotti. When you buy a Ferrari, uh, one of the things you can get access to, you can get a, a, a tour around the Ferractri at Maranello, and you could have a tour of the Corsa Clienti, which is the program that Ferrari run for owners who want to buy track focused cars. They have the um, uh, the F1 uh, cars. You can, um, Ferrari sell F their F1 cars at the end of the season. You can buy one of those. I think you probably have to be invited to buy one. They got the uh, XX program, things like the 599XX that I drove or was a passenger at Goodwood. But they have the Corsa Pilotti and you can pay to go on that. <coughs> And you can basically go to Maranello or Verano and you can learn how to drive Ferraris quickly on circuit with Ferrari instructors. And that's exactly what is going to happen next, is I'm going to go back to the pits uh, and I'm going to get tuition from a Ferrari Corsa Pilotti instructor. And their job really is, when people buy these cars, in my previous video we were talking about Ferrari approved and people buy cars to drive on the road in a spirited fashion. Maybe you do you know, road trips and driving tours and that kind of thing. But many people who buy Ferraris will want to experience what that Ferrari is like on a motor circuit. It's really, especially for something like SF90, probably the only place where you're gonna really tap into and exploit the full performance of the car is on a motor circuit. And in order to do that and do it safely and get the most out of the car, tuition is a really important thing especially if you've not done any track driving before I've done lots of track driving I've done some racing I've had lots of tuition from a range of different instructors and it's always always a learning experience no matter how good you are no matter how well you think you know a car or a circuit when you have an instructor help you that just takes you to the next level so let's head back to the pits and we'll um, have my instructor jump in and we'll start learning how to drive this car quickly around this Verano circuit in the pouring rain. <laughs> um, to say I'm a little bit intimidated is an understatement because, um, yeah, it's the most powerful car I've ever driven, a thousand horsepower. Um, even though it's four wheel drive, it is a soaking wet track. Um, and I think it's gonna be very low traction. From our sighting laps, there was understeer and you can get a snap of oversteer if you're just too aggressive with the throttle. So let's go and do some learning. Let's go and learn how to drive this SF90 quickly around Verano. Okay. Okay. Now then, before we start, this is Marcello, my instructor. Hello. Corsa Pilotti, here we go. Where Welcome you to, go? to YouTube. <laughs> I booked nice dry weather and it's raining. Typical Italian. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to say English, sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's all good. Okay. So we have done a quick sighting lap. It's mighty slippy out there. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. Take it easy at the beginning. Just wait for the green, little by little. Okay, let's go. We're going to have more laps to do. Yeah. If it's not going to rain again, I don't want to say it would be okay, but we'll be manageable. Okay, a little bit of power here, run on the left, small break when you're turning, wait a little, back on gas, short shift to four, as soon as you can, five, stay on the left, and then brake, down to three, release gradually back to the right hand side, start to turn with a little bit of brake, 
Yeah, just hold it a little so you keep the weight in the front. Watch out on the exit. Back on power up to four, all the way to the left, stay on the left hand side. Over there there is a bump, so keep this power, really good. In the middle of the track we brake, we don't turn here. Keep the brake while you're turning. Really it's gradually, don't turn it too early, just wait longer so you make more sharp uh, turn. Wait legal and back on gas up to four. And small brake here, it is where you're turning, aiming for the cone, little bit of power, lift and left back on gas again up to five all the way to the left 100 km per hour if you want to increase the wiper on the right hand side there is the uh, switch over here this way uh, okay sorry we are good to go back on gas standing on the right here we change the tarmac so a little bit more grip really gradually where you're turning getting the yellow a little bit of power here gas off you mean the yellow and back on gas moving on to the right back to the left and brake really gradually over the curb on the right hand side gas and left over the uh, orange now we low grip here so stay on the right and lift and left and back on gas while you're realigning up to four five Okay, here we are. So, as you see, there is a lot of standing water everywhere. In between my two driving sessions, I got to sit down with another instructor to go through my lap in more detail, mainly focusing on lines and braking points. In the dry, the SF90 is fast, really fast. It does zero to 62 miles an hour in 2.5 seconds, and zero to 124 miles an hour in only 6.7 seconds. As I've said, it's based on a four wheel drive platform. It has an electric motor for each front wheel and another between the engine and gearbox, but it's only four wheel drive up to 130 miles an hour. Above that, the front motors are disengaged and all the electrical power that went to them is instead directed to the third motor. So you have nigh on 1000 horsepower going through the rear wheels alone. That could well be why I was spinning up in fourth gear down the main straight. Uh, I can see you are doing some some driving yourself, so for sure you are experienced uh, because there is really not much to say. You're confident, you're confident, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's still spinning up in fourth. What happened there? <laughs> just a little bit of just a uh, even in wet mode in fourth, it was still spinning up down the straight. Yes. <laughs> Unreal. All right, no, cool. nothing else really. Um, Good, I passed. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thank you, Luca. Cheers.
going all the way to the right, so go left and overtake him. Lift and right, back the gas and lift and left. Slippery, so it's hard to. For uh, you, this manage. must be your worst nightmare because you have no pedals here, so you're the, <laughs> purely at the mercy of well, how you good told the me drive. you're English, so I was feeling comfy. <laughs> <laughs> do I pass? How uh, uh, praise my driving? Did I do okay? You did really good. You did really good. I never felt scared any time. Oh, good, except some uh, either planning moment, but that yeah. was good. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a car. I'd love to drive this car in the dry. Oh, man. Now, where do I begin with that experience? I've driven lots of fast cars on motor circuits before. I've never driven anything with as much horsepower as this. I think up till now, 900 horsepower in a 2012 NASCAR was the most powerful car I'd ever driven. This is an absolute rocket ship. Unfortunately, the track conditions today were very wet, lots of standing water. However, an amazing experience and for me I always take with open arms any opportunity to get driving tuition from really great driving instructors and Corsa Pilotti there for me if you're wanting to learn how to drive a Ferrari fast that's the go-to place so it was an incredible experience to to get two sessions we had one session I had a debrief and then back out again on track each time being able to push the envelope of the car a little bit more, being able to go a little bit faster. I guess my only regret is today it's wet and I would have loved to experience this car in dry conditions when I could really exploit the Cup 2s, get them nice and sticky and really put some power down, especially on the start finish straight. We were coming down here in the wet, spinning up in fourth gear. That's how much power this car's got. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. A massive thank you to Ferrari for the invite out here to Italy. It's been a very, very special day indeed. But I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next video. I am now going to go and get a double espresso because believe me, I need it. I'll see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Drive safe. <laughs>